morning everyone. Welcome to Wisconsin Points of Interest. Today is 2023. It's actually President's Day. Uh, we are headed up to Oshkosh to check out the uh, Oshkosh Mental Asylum. And uh, they have a lighthouse there. They also have a graveyard. I do not believe I will be checking out the graveyard today. Uh, it's muddy and everything. And um, it takes a little hike to get to the graveyard. We can check that out a different day. Um, plus, there's something in this story about one of the presidents. So that kind of goes with President's Day. So uh, stay tuned. And uh, I'll uh, get back to you as soon as we get up there. So hang on. Asylum Point Barn. We're at the entrance now. And this is heading to the lighthouse. The Winnebago County Asylum. There's a lot of fishing that goes on up here. I still see people ice fishing. I wouldn't trust that, but some people do, obviously. It's been rather warm. And it's a little frosty this morning. Right now it's about 25 degrees. As I said earlier, it's Monday. It's President's Day. And, uh, I have a little note about a president here later on, so stick with me. And we have plenty of parking here. You have to hike to get to the cemetery or the graveyard, so I'm not going to do that today. I do want to check out this lighthouse. It's on a peninsula or an island over here. There's a bridge you can see. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about it. Hang on. The lighthouse project was originally rejected by the Department of Public. Department of Transportation as a navigational light for the lake. It was a 1937 project of the Works Progress Administration, the WPA. Since it was rejected, it has never been lit. It's a little chilly this morning. And uh, not much of a breeze, which is nice. Very overcast. In 2007, the lighthouse received a $4,000 makeover. Labor was provided by inmates from the Winnebago Correctional Institute. Uh, they replaced some of the wooden lantern room. New windows were replaced and the metal roof was rebuilt. So you can never go in it. I think it's always locked. Take a look around a little bit. A lot of people are just fishing out there. Yeah. 
boat over there. And this must be the maintenance building for this area here. So, all right, well, we'll go ahead and head over to the uh, asylum. Check out those buildings over there. Okay, so to give you a little, some notes on this. Uh, we are on the west side, central area, on the shore of Lake Winnebago, Wisconsin, Lake Winnebago, about four miles north of the city of Oshkosh, at Asylum Point, and also within Asylum Bay. Asylum means a place of offering protection and safety, or in other words, a shelter, so nice that they made us into a nice county park or a, a Oshkosh area you can check out. It's not closed off or anything. Uh, there's a man-made island next to the Lighthouse Point. Many people come out here and go fishing or just relax. The Winnebago County Asylum in Poor Farm, also known as the Workhouse, It was originally 120 acres and was purchased in 1865 and expanded over time to include 527 acres. In 1870, two buildings were constructed. A brick structure for the poor farm was built in 1906 and was destroyed by fire in 1944. Asylum building was constructed in 1893 and tore down about 1968. A more modern building was constructed in 1953. There were many other buildings added over time. And we are going to go see those buildings. So the purchase price for the original 338 acres for the hospital was $26,000. Construction of the hospital began in 1871 and was completed November 11, 1875. The very first patient was admitted on April 21st, 1873, and it had a capacity of 500 beds. It was demolished in 1966-67 to make way for newer buildings. Check this out. This is what I was telling you. One of the hospital's residents was John Flaming Schrank, who tried to assassinate Theodore Roosevelt on October 14, 1912, in Milwaukee. But of course, he did not succeed because of Roosevelt's glasses case and a copy of the 50 page speech in his jacket pocket. Then Schrank was moved to the Central State Hospital of the criminally insane in Waupon. By the way, this is the same hospital where Ed Gein began his treatment in 1957. If you remember Ed Gein, he dug up corpses and took bodies and made furniture and lampshades and stuff out of them. Uh, Schrank died in 1943 and his body was donated for atomic, anatomical dissection at the Medical School of Marquette University. Okay, one thing that got me when I kind of took a look back through here was uh, this building in the back. It's got, a lot of these buildings have fences and stuff in areas. This one in the back here, this is one that I was telling about, this little fence area. The one in the back here has a high fence. It's got barbed wire and razor wire on the top of it. Uh, we got a full house here today. Uh, that 
that's the one right up there. So, this area has volleyball, some swings, it's all enclosed in a fence. And then, out here, there's a house that is on this property that I'd like to show you. It's a nice looking house, actually. I think it's part of this, uh, I think it's part of the grounds here. It's that brick house up there on the right. They have some, there's a tennis court. There's that house there. Man, it's, it's a nice house. So. All right. So thank you for watching. That about wraps it up. I uh, appreciate every one of you. I wish you would uh, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, maybe share this video if you found it interesting. And I look forward to uh, posting more and uh, having you back. So take care, everybody.